After Starship Flight 8 concluded, videos capturing Starship 34 returning as a fireball spread rapidly across social media. So, the most pressing concern now is the aftermath of this spectacular but unwanted return. Are there any serious damages that might hinder future Starship flights? Let's find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech. Glittering in the night sky like shooting stars streaking toward the ocean, these were not celestial wonders but the latest fragments of Starship 34. Rather than falling over the Turks and Caicos Islands this time, debris from the latest explosion was spotted descending near southern Florida and the Bahamas. According to multiple videos captured by local residents, the fragments were ultimately seen splashing down into the ocean within the designated area. This confirms that none of the debris landed in residential zones and is posing no threat to human safety. In SpaceX's latest update, the company also reaffirmed, Starship flew within a designated launch corridor to safeguard the public both on the ground, on water, and in the air. Following the anomaly, SpaceX teams immediately began coordination with the FAA, ATO, air traffic control, and other safety officials to implement pre-planned contingency responses. Any surviving debris would have fallen within the pre-planned debris response area. There are no toxic materials present in the debris, and no significant impacts expected to occur to marine species or water quality. Around the same time that debris from Starship 34 was falling, a Turks and Caicos government account shared an advisory on Instagram regarding the incident. We wish to advise the public that this evening's SpaceX launch appears to have broken up in flight, the advisory read. We are in contact with the US FAA, SpaceX and UK agency leads to confirm the position. Post-incident protocols have been engaged. The National Security Secretariat will continue to keep the public apprised as we work to ensure the safety and security of our islands. Although the exact location of the vehicle's explosion has yet to be confirmed, Ensuring the safety of people in these areas remains the highest priority. Meanwhile, U.S. officials at the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, ordered a temporary ground stop at several airports, including Miami and Orlando, until at least 8 p.m. local time. The FAA also kept flights from departing from Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood International Airport, and Miami International Airport. Flights leaving those airports are still delayed, on average by 30 and 45 minutes, respectively. We've got a lot of measures in place, like debris response areas, where we coordinate very closely with air traffic control, Dan Huot, SpaceX communications manager, said. We have a lot of measures put in place before we ever launch a rocket to make sure that we're keeping the public safe. Those worked last time, and they're actively in work right now. Although the Starship failure in this launch has not caused any damage to people or property so far, many believe this incident could pose a major setback for SpaceX. It occurred just over a month after the company's seventh Starship flight also ended in an explosion, marking yet another disastrous outcome. Worse still, this time, Starship didn't fly as high or as far as before. Two consecutive failures in the early stages of missions that SpaceX had previously navigated with ease highlight serious obstacles for the program that Musk is pushing to accelerate this year. An ex-account named Xander, identified as a supervisor for Starship Heat Shield, tweeted, Flight 8 hit me hard. Watching Starship fall after pouring everything we had into it cuts deep. It hurts because we care, because we know what's at stake, but pain is the price of progress. We'll carry this loss, rise from it, and push harder than ever. Onward. John Edwards, Vice President of Falcon Launch Vehicles at SpaceX, responded to this tweet. Never give up. After Falcon 1 Flight 3, we learned the hard way that the night is darkest just before the dawn. Keep your head up and keep pushing. We're going to get there. And that's absolutely true. While losing the ship in this Starship flight may feel disappointing, SpaceX will never stop pushing forward. With the unwavering belief of the company's executives, we, as space enthusiasts, can also find inspiration in their resilience. Right? Comment yes if you always have faith in SpaceX's Starship. If this video goes viral, this will be an incredible message to SpaceX. For those concerned about costs after another lost Starship, let me assure you, this was already factored into the company's plans. Nothing will impact SpaceX financially while the Starship program continues to develop at full speed. The company has stayed true to its engineering philosophy, leveraging Starlink revenue to build a solid foundation for its ambitious future. While traditional aerospace projects often spend years designing and testing before a single flight, SpaceX embraces a test, fail, fix, repeat methodology that accepts setbacks as learning opportunities rather than disasters.
This is also a key factor in shifting the public perception of space travel development. The financial backing from Starlink is particularly significant. This satellite internet constellation not only provides global connectivity, but generates substantial revenue that SpaceX can reinvest in its more ambitious projects. This self-funding capability gives them independence from the budgetary constraints and changing priorities that have hampered traditional space programs. The mastery of booster catching represents another critical milestone. What seemed like science fiction just years ago, landing and reusing orbital class rockets, has now become routine operational procedure for SpaceX. This capability dramatically reduces launch costs, as the first stage represents approximately 70% of a rocket's expense. By catching rather than just landing boosters, they further extend reusability by preventing saltwater exposure and reducing refurbishment needs. But for now, the most immediate concern SpaceX must address is the investigation into this explosion. Just hours after the launch of Starship Flight 8, the FAA swiftly called for an investigation into the mishap involving the loss of the Starship vehicle. A mishap investigation is designed to enhance public safety, determine the root cause of the event, and identify corrective actions to avoid it from happening again, according to the statement. The FAA will be involved in every step of the SpaceX-led mishap investigation process and must approve SpaceX's final report, including any corrective actions. A return to flight is based on the FAA determining that any system, process, or procedure related to the mishap does not affect public safety. Hopefully this investigation will proceed as quickly as the previous one because, in reality, the damages from this flight do not seem too severe. Therefore, let's stay optimistic and follow SpaceX's progress closely to see just how rapidly the company is advancing compared to the rest of the aerospace industry. This highlights the importance of rapid testing and learning through Starship's development. Of course, with this approach comes a tremendous responsibility for Starship, as it plays a crucial role in the future of the United States, especially as global superpowers race to conquer the Moon and even Mars. The Starship program, a cornerstone of SpaceX's vision for space exploration, is steadily working toward a monumental goal, landing humans on the Moon as part of NASA's Artemis Initiative. Central to this mission is the Super Heavy Starship System, a towering, fully reusable spacecraft designed to revolutionize space travel. For SpaceX and NASA, perfecting this system is not just a technical challenge, but a critical step toward achieving sustained lunar exploration. Under a contract with NASA, SpaceX is tasked with developing a modified Starship variant to serve as a lunar lander, capable of delivering astronauts to the moon's south pole, a region rich with scientific potential due to its shadowed craters and possible water ice deposits. The journey to the lunar surface is a complex, multi-step endeavor. First, SpaceX must successfully launch the Starship into low Earth orbit using the Super Heavy Booster, a rocket of unprecedented power. Once in orbit, the moon-bound Starship will require in-space refueling, a feat never before accomplished at this scale. To make this possible, SpaceX plans to deploy a fleet of Super Heavy Starship tankers, each tasked with rendezvousing with the lunar lander in orbit to transfer propellant. This refueling operation is a linchpin of the mission, enabling the Starship to break free from Earth's gravity well and embark on its translunar trajectory. Only then can it reach lunar orbit, where it will await its human crew. The astronauts, meanwhile, will launch aboard NASA's Space Launch System, SLS, a heavy-lift rocket developed to carry humans beyond Earth's orbit and travel to the moon inside the Orion capsule, built by Lockheed Martin. Upon arriving in lunar orbit, the crew will transfer from Orion to the waiting starship, which will then descend to the lunar surface. This ambitious plan aims to mark a historic milestone, landing the first woman and the next man on the moon, tentatively scheduled for the 2027 to 2028 timeframe. Before that can happen, however, SpaceX must achieve an unpiloted starship landing on the moon, a critical demonstration of the system's capabilities. At the heart of this endeavor lies rapid reusability, a defining feature of the Starship program. Unlike traditional rockets discarded after a single use, the Super Heavy Starship is designed to be reflown multiple times with minimal turnaround time, a necessity given the sheer number of launches required for a single lunar mission. Each moon landing will demand not only the lander itself, but also a series of tanker flights to refuel it, making efficiency and reliability paramount. To build confidence in the system, SpaceX must conduct numerous test flights, refining the technology and ironing out issues through real-world experience. Recent test flights, while groundbreaking, 
have also highlighted the challenges ahead with occasional mishaps underscoring the complexity of the task. Amid these efforts, SpaceX is laying the groundwork for an expanded operational footprint on Florida's space coast. The company has unveiled ambitious plans to upgrade its facilities at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, KSC, a historic hub of American spaceflight. A centerpiece of this expansion is the Gigabay, a massive 380-foot-tall structure designed to house the refurbishment, integration, and processing of super-heavy boosters and Starship vehicles, spanning 815,000 square feet and offering 46.5 million cubic feet of interior space. This facility will streamline SpaceX's ability to prepare its fleet for flight. Construction is slated for completion by the end of 2026, positioning the Gigabay as a vital asset in SpaceX's lunar timeline. In parallel, SpaceX intends to establish a second Florida facility dedicated to manufacturing Starships from the ground up, mirroring the capabilities of its existing production site in Boca Chica, Texas, known as Starbase. This dual-coast strategy will bolster SpaceX's capacity to scale up Starship production and launches. To enable initial Starship flights from Florida, while our Space Coast Starship manufacturing, integration, and refurbishment facilities are being completed, we will first transport completed Super Heavy Boosters and Starship Upper Stage ships from Starbase via barge to build up a Starship fleet in Florida, SpaceX announced in a statement on March 3, 2025. By shipping finished vehicles from Texas, SpaceX can kickstart operations from Florida's Launch Complex 39A and potentially a second pad while the new facilities take shape. With production, integration, refurbishment, and launch infrastructure in both Texas and Florida, SpaceX is poised to dramatically increase the Starship's launch cadence. This dual-site approach not only enhances redundancy, but also accelerates the program's ultimate goal, making spaceflight routine through rapid reusability. As the company refines the super-heavy Starship system and expands its operational base, the dream of returning humans to the moon and eventually venturing to Mars edges closer to reality. For NASA, SpaceX, and the global space community, the stakes are high and the rewards promise to redefine humanity's place in the cosmos. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.